guys, it's Tobias here and welcome to, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're going with a little bit of a different video today. Now, I didn't really want to make this video simply because it's a bit of a negative video. I don't like watching people rant about things on YouTube, so I'm pretty sure my audience is the same as me and they don't like watching YouTubers rant about things in videos. But I did take to Twitter and I did say, would you like to see a vlog about my opinions about FIFA 14, about what I think about the game and EA? And you guys did say that you would like to see it. So. I'm just going to tell you a little bit of a background story, uh, it's, only, it's not even really a story to be honest, I haven't played FIFA um, in around 5 days, uh, the girlfriend was around for the weekend, um, I've been playing a lot of other games, for example League of Legends, um, I haven't bought the new Call of Duty, uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing that, uh, Grand Theft Auto for example, I'm still playing that. Um, so yesterday I got round to making a couple of videos, um, I needed to make a squad builder, um, I was going to do a pack opening, obviously we've got a uh, new inform Ronaldo, Benzema, a lot of really nice inform players this week which is good to see from EA, um, and then I, obviously my favourite series on my channel which I love doing, Let's Play Ultimate Team, so yesterday I turned on my Xbox to have a couple of hours playing on FIFA because I hadn't done it in quite a few days, it had an update which was fine, you know, EA are obviously trying to fix things which is good to see on EA's behalf, that's always is good uh, to see from uh, game uh, publishers and stuff. However, I went into my first game of Let's Play Ultimate Team. Now, I've played around 22 uh, games on that series. 22, which is quite a lot. And the game has only frozen twice, which, you know, isn't that bad. Um, it has frozen a lot after games, uh, which does mean that uh, it doesn't affect my record. But uh, in those 22 games, it has frozen twice mid-game, which obviously does mean I have to restart my Xbox, I do get a, a loss on the record, which for a, a, a Road to Glory kind of account isn't really what uh, I'm after, for example. So, yesterday I went into my first game on Let's Play Ultimate Team, uh, I finished the game, the 90th, win, uh, 90th minute whistle went, I drew one all, and as I was looking at the match facts at the end of the game, the game froze, so I was a little bit pissed off, uh, I did cry about it on Twitter, as you guys do see me do, um, so I did just restart my Xbox, uh, I got the draw as the game uh, was, uh, as it ended. So, you know, even though it was a bit frustrating, I wasn't as annoyed as if it would have frozen mid-game. So I went into my second game, I was winning 2-0, and the game froze in the 25th minute. Two freezes in a row, which is absolutely infuriating. So I restarted my Xbox, I waited five minutes, I restarted my internet, everything. Uh, not a problem. Went into another game, again, it froze. Another freeze. So I thought maybe it's just uh, this time I was 1 0 up. I managed to score from kickoff. Uh, so that was two unnecessary um, disconnects, freezes, and losses on my Let's Play Ultimate Team account. So I thought I'll try it one more time. Let me go into uh, my fourth game in the recording of Let's Play Ultimate Team and take a guess what happened. It froze again. So this time, uh, I've got this all recorded, I'm going to include it in my uh, next episode of Let's Play Ultimate Team. I decided to message the guy just to see, is this just happening on my half, or is this happening for my oppositions as well? So I messaged the guy, did your FIFA 14 freeze, and he messaged me back saying, yeah, G, I don't know if he knows I'm a G or not, but I guess he does know that I'm a G. Um, so it isn't just my FIFA, I mean, for example, I know for a fact it is happening for a lot of other YouTubers. Uh, R9 Rye, he's actually quit YouTube because he's been so infuriated and annoyed at the freezing that has been taking place on FIFA 14. Road to Shore, you only need to see one of his pink slip videos to see that he is getting numerous amount of freezes on his Xbox as well. Matt HD Gamer, he's actually been forced to change console due to the freezing only taking place on the Xbox 360. Now, it isn't a bad game. If the game doesn't freeze, I absolutely love FIFA 14. When it first came out, I hated it because I was so bad at it. But um, now that I've got used to it and it's been out for around two months, FIFA 14 is an unreal game. I mean, the engine it runs on, uh, I've played it on the Xbox One, that is absolutely unreal. But the minor thing, well, it's not even a minor thing, the game freezing at random points. I mean, I tried to do a squad builder. Four attempts it took me to make a squad. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. If you were to say that to, if you were let to say that to Rockstar, for example, imagine imagine saying to the boss of Rockstar, you release your new GTA, and it freezes every ten minutes, 
and the consumer has to restart their Xbox. If you were to say that to the head of Rockstar and GTA, he would probably be absolute. He'd probably like not even. He'd like delay the release of the game to fix that problem. The fact EA haven't even. I mean, yes, I know. I'm not gonna sl slate them and say they haven't tried to fix the problem. I know for a fact EA have tried to fix the problem, so props to them for that. I mean, as I said at the beginning of this video, I went on yesterday and had an update. That update was there to try and fix the problem, but the fact it hasn't fixed the problem and the game has been released for two months now is absolutely diabolical from EA's behalf. I mean, as I said, Managed the Game has had to change console. I really don't want to change console. I mean, I've always been an Xbox fanboy. Um, I've never owned a PS3. Um, I don't own on planning a PS3. I don't even own on buying a PS4. I mean, I already have my Xbox One pre-order. Um, but when I do say on Twitter that my Xbox keeps freezing during games, I mean, yesterday, going back to the story, I finished with Let's Play Ultimate Team. I was literally just like, no, it's that account. It's the Nerd Seer account, which is uh, the account I use for my Let's Play Ultimate Team. So I went back onto my, well, I went onto my main account, which I haven't been on for quite a while. Um, and in fairness, that doesn't get an, uh, as many freezes. I don't know why it's so specific to accounts. Um, I went onto that account, the game froze straight away. Like, it just froze um, literally seconds after kickoff. Um, it froze. Restarted. Again, I got another freeze. Five freezes in five games is absolute bullshit. All I want to do is play one game of FIFA 14 uh, because at the end of the day, you play FIFA to enjoy it. I mean, a lot of people say, if you hate the game so much, I don't hate the game, but like, that's one thing I want to make clear. I think FIFA 14 is an amazing game. It's just the freezing is absolute I can't even describe to you how annoying it is it's like playing any game that you play but not being able to finish it because of something that you can't control so that oh it's just so bad a lot of people say why do you still play it I love football I love football games I've grown up playing FIFA every single year on the PS1 I remember playing around my mate's house on like uh, FIFA 97 World Cup or whatever it was like some ancient ancient uh, FIFA growing up on the PS2 when I had the PS2 slim because that was like the big thing back when I was around nine or ten uh, FIFA on them was like the game you had to have I absolutely love FIFA's it's just a shame I can't play a game this year, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm actually going to be starting up my second channel uh, next week, simply because um, it proves to be that making FIFA videos is absolutely impossible this year. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to buy a PS3 because I know PS3 aren't getting freezes whatsoever. For some reason, it only seems to be an Xbox thing. Um, but yeah, that's something I don't really want to be doing. I don't want to be forced to change consoles simply because of something that EA can't fix. Um, people have said turn off the in-game, uh, the soundtracks, I've done that. E uh, people have said take, uh, take off the EA activity sharing, I've done that. People have said delete friends on your friends list. This is a new, my, as you know I've been banned, uh, one of my game attacks got banned. Um, this is a new account, I have three friends on it, three friends. and. Apparently, that's, I, I don't, I'm not going to remove those three friends. People say remo right, you should have around 40 friends on your friends list um, and the game won't freeze. I have three. I have three friends and I still, in five games, can't even reach the 90th minute. But anyway, that is all for this video. If you have any solutions on Xbox, I will literally bum you. I'm not even kidding. If you find a fix for this on my Xbox, I will generally somehow over the internet shag you because I really, really, really want to be getting back to playing FIFA as I was last year. But um, apologies for such a ranting video. I did want to do a vlog, um, and this is a vlog as you can tell. And it's just unfortunate that a little problem on one amazing game has to ruin it. Uh, because as I said, FIFA 14 compared to FIFA 13 is such an amazing game. The way it plays online, yes, headers are a little bit OP. And yes, through balls can be a little bit OP. But you know, every single FIFA, there's going to be something that is OP. So hopefully... EA do get this freezing problem fixed because at the minute I can't make any videos because the freezing just ruins everything I do. Um, and yeah, but anyway, that is all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything that I have said in this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like if you can smash 2,000 likes for another vlog because uh, vlogging won't freeze. Um, that would be absolutely awesome. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.